comes to Davis. Davis chips it in looking for Fletcher. Fletcher's got a fit of the fumbles. He's brought down to Moore. Moore, now to Weirmouth. To Ireland. Ireland through the centre. Centre can have a bounce. McCann coming at him. He's still going brilliantly. Low into the breeze. Forward pocket. Ireland. Short of centre wing. Bruce Reed. Straight to Ireland. Ireland a shocker. Mr. Max Richardson who's just come on as an interchange player. He was uh, just escaped a trip. He's run 50. Gets it to Kink. Kink goes for goal and puts it through. Malthouse. Oh, a balloon. Magro on his own. Takes it nicely. Magro being a good player. Gets it to Ireland. Long running kick by Ireland. Moore. Peter Moore. It's graceful. Ireland robs the ball. Good handball to Manassa. Manassa's kicked the centre wing. Carmen should mark. Barham. Barham at half forward. Kink unmarked. Sheedy closing towards half forward. Barker from the back. Ireland in front. Down to Saru. And the free kick paid to uh, Billy Pickett. For Ireland. Andrew Ireland just behind the centre. To half forward. Good pass to Kink. Barham. Over the top to Kink. This should be a score to Collingwood. Oh, beauty. Great goal. What a sensational opening. Oops. O'Keefe. Over the head of Picken. Oh, coming through nicely. Ireland relieves up to centre half. Uh, back off the chest of Pelvic. Carmen sells the hand pass, dummy. Oh, nice smother by Ireland again. Duperusel desperate, but Ireland better. I ran too far. And there's a dog on the ground. And it's a black one too. Kink. Oh. More. Saru's up there with one hand. It goes to ground. Picken. Dispossessed. Morris. Beautifully to Ireland. And Ireland streams up the centre of the ground. He'll be blocked by O'Keefe on the shore. He'll turn into Dipperich. Back to Wearmouth. The terrible... And Kilder again, back into attack as Stevens long kick towards centre half forward. Saru knocks the ball on, it's taken by Andrew Ireland. Ireland goes a little short pass and finds Barham out on the centre wing. Barham has time to come around, steady up with one bounce, and now drives the ball in towards centre half forward. Coming up close and oh, a great mark taken by Sandy Lands. Sandy Lands puts the ball and it's all Collingwood as we see Shaw. Shaw will come around, straighten up, drive the ball down and it's through the centre. very noticeable that the St Kilda players were not playing defensive football whatsoever, they were trying to attack all the time, that was the reason that we saw Barham all by himself on the centre wing, we see the, the pass completely unopposed, got it downfield, Sandlins did the rest, got it out for sure, and you've seen the result of that one, so looking at it, O'Keefe went for the big punch towards Barker, Barker's caught in possession, called play on, now it's called holding the ball, and New Ireland to take the kick, he's uh, just short of half back kick by Ireland, it's a nice kick up towards half forward, Sandy lands left unattended he'll handball on quickly to Carmen Car fell for it, Rush is caught Ireland takes it away from him, free kick should go to Ireland, Ireland a hand pass across to Wayne Richardson, down to Kink Kink over his head and you've got to come out Max Crow, Manassa beats him for it, kicks for goal and puts it through Collingwood are uh, murdering them against Hawthorne to Ireland. Barham's been quiet. Down to Richardson, who switched direction the last moment and fumbled it and lost it. Having a bad day today, Richardson. Down to centre half forward to Derek Shaw. A good pick up there by Collingwood and Shaw raced in for his fourth goal. His third for the quarter. Thumped across by Morris. Here comes Jezza Lincoln. Towns missed him. Worthington, good hand pass to Ireland. Downfield it goes underneath it, Jones. Oh, nice turn, a shocking kick. Chance now for Ireland to pick it up. He's good enough. He's grabbed him on the first hop. Gets a kick back there. Too long. Through. Gets a kick in. Not a decisive one. Sure, not quite. 
Out to Ireland. Half-back line. Looking for Kink. It is. Picking the bounce will be vital, but it's nicely marked by Ireland. Ireland goes for the centre. Tries to find Carwell on the forward line. He gets it away from Paul Carlton. Players, he went it behind. Boots it down towards Moore. He's got it. Played on. And goal. Waiting on the umpire. Okay. Yes, it is. Jones beautifully down to his rover and Ashman. And Carlton moving to attack. The mark there taken on the boundary line by Ireland. Well, not the boundary line, but on the wing. Quickly across to his co-back man in Picking, picking now towards Moore. It's been really a tough game. I wonder how the fit these two sides of one of these two sides are up next. Where's the chance now for Collingwood to get clear? Ball given down there by Ireland up towards the Thompson. He's got the mark. Great rock play by Nolan, but Melrose handballed to no one. Helped by boys who got a bad bounce though. Back to Ireland. Long kick to half forward. Carmen and Greg take it full stretch. Taken away by Morris. Chance for Ireland. He was tackled by boys and will take the free kick. Sweeping handball infield and Max Richardson starting to come into it a bit more. A long kick to the goal square. Moore is there. What's the difference? Towards Byrne, great spin, centres the ball. And a high tackle and a free kick to Andy Arlen for Collingwood in the back pocket. preliminary final north have led by 9 15 and 14 at the changes and a good mark taken by Whitcroft at half back Collingwood still a chance as Whitcroft's kicked to centre wing into attack in this quarter so far McCann gets it down to Huppets tries to weave his way through Boyce uh, has a pot shot but the ball is going back to Collingwood it'll be a free kick to Ireland I quite frankly didn't see it in the back pocket. Kick number eight to Ireland, being one of Collingwood's better players all year.